welcome back. We are doing another Different Faces Challenge video today. This is the second Catherine Parr, and I decided to go with Deborah Keir from Young Bess, which was released in 1953. I don't think I have made any other Sims based on that movie because at that point all of the wives were not, you know, with us at that point. Well, maybe Anacleves. I don't know. The point is, I was excited to do something a little bit different, and then I saw the costuming, and I also saw the casting. Like, Deborah Keir is beautiful, but she seemed, and again, seemed, I didn't look up how old she was, she seemed very young for who she was portraying. Because again, Catherine Parr was mid to late 30s. We're not 100% sure of how old she was, but she was definitely in her 30s. So just in the few screenshots I could find, again, not very many, she just seemed very young. She seemed 20s. So not ideal. I also struggled so much with her chin and mouth. Like, if I didn't know any better, it would say that there was some Photoshop going on. Like, I'm sure that they had their equivalent of Photoshop, but yeah. So the mouth and the chin were a struggle on this sim. But as you can see, I did it fairly quickly. I did cut out some portions of just me waffling, you know, hair and dress choices, but for the most part I was able to make her pretty quickly. And I am satisfied with the results, even though I wish there's a few things that I would change. Of course she's got quite a bit of makeup on because the actress that they had in the film had a lot of makeup on and I'm trying to be true to the vision that the director had or makeup artist or whoever made those decisions. It was hard to see her eye color though and then her hair was like a really gingery color I believe in the Pooklet family it's uh, Molotov but I don't I don't remember I don't have memorized but I didn't really have a gingery hair for her so I think I end up going with blonde I mean I do but I didn't have one with a hood and she did have a hood so she also had an awful brocade dress that Thankfully, I didn't have anything like that in my downloads folder. Like, it looked like it came from Party City. I don't know what they were thinking. It was awful. I'm so sorry if you can hear the animals. They will not stop. I opened a box and I unpacked it. And now we are running up and down the stairs because apparently that was the signal that they needed. We haven't done it in a while, but yeah, now we're... Now we're being naughty. It happens. It happens. I am happy that I'm... I've been unpacking since I got here, but after about a month I was tired and I was done. So there's mainly the upstairs. There's one box downstairs that I need an end table where it's at, so I just haven't unpacked it. And then in my loft space where I record and have all my computers and books and stuff, there was just one more box with just like miscellaneous stuff, but also all of my dice and my miniatures and things. And I needed to hang shelves to do that. Well, I didn't want to hang shelves, so I just now got that finished. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's so cute. And yes, a dice corner can be cute. And I'm hoping, like, by messing with my Dungeons and Dragons stuff, like, that'll bring some... I don't know, some oomph to the group that I'm trying to form. Because I would like to play Dungeons and Dragons again. I miss playing it. I haven't had like a steady group in like five years, probably longer, and I miss it. I miss it. It is really fun to play. I've actually been toying with the idea of playing the like pre-made campaigns because I've never played those like Curse of Strahd, those kind of things. Like I've never played them. I've always had DMs that really wanted to play their own custom kind of worlds. And then if I was the DM, I was typically doing custom worlds. so. It could be interesting, but I don't know. As you can see, I'm still just struggling a bit with the face. I don't think that she's perfect. Like, her face should be narrower, I feel like. But overall, I think I, I did my best with the very few screenshots that I had. I actually had to resort to using screenshots of her from other movies. And yeah, it just wasn't, wasn't perfect, but what can you do? It was made in 1953, so. I will say I'm really excited about the next one because I think that the casting and the next movie that I chose was so flawless. Like, 
is perfect. Like, to the point where I'm gonna watch this film. And I'm normally not pumped to watch things, but like, I'm going to. Unless I've seen it, I might have seen it, I don't know. But I'm not gonna tell you what it is, because it will ruin the surprise. But yeah, we're basically done. I'm gonna pick out her hood and her hair and yeah, we're done. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.